Hey guys, Bridge here. In this video, we're going to talk about design systems and specifically which are some of the top design systems for Figma at the moment. Now, just before we get started, I want to make a quick premise. Design systems can be really useful in order to save time and effort, but sometimes you're going to need to create design systems from scratch. And nonetheless, it's really good to understand the basics of how design system works even before you actually leverage one. And I recently created an entire series in which we're creating an entire design system from scratch in Figma. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in learning more or the ins and out of design systems. Now, let's get started with the very first one, which is material design. And if you've been in UI UX for any time, you probably already heard about Google's material design system. And uh, it's uh, really cool because under resources uh, on at material.io, you're actually going to be able to download the Figma design system. And uh, it's uh, a base, uh, um, components and style uh, file and uh, it uh, essentially it's giving it away the material design system for free it's not uh, extremely extensive uh, as far as I recall but uh, it definitely gave you a base and uh, hey it's free so <laughs> I can't complain about that now let's move on to the very next one which is a uh, Pegasus design system and uh, this one is uh, a premium design system like uh, many of the other ones which I'm going to discuss in this video and the reason being is that uh, I really like uh, um, premium design systems because uh, usually design systems you're going to use them for um, large projects or projects which are going to become large anyways so it's really worth in my opinion the investment but again guys you can create your own design system for free from scratch and there's also many other ones for free these are just my personal opinion some of the top ones which I uh, ran across and as you can see Pegasus design system really extensive uh, 2000 plus pattern states 330 custom icons 100 plus styles but what i really like about this design system is uh, just the style overall it's really clean i really like the design and uh, on top of that it's a really solid design system that works both in light version and dark version and uh, overall um, when it comes to design systems, you, you need elements such as, you know, modular components, uh, um, make it like customized uh, and uh, all those things. So it's really important to have like a, a solid foundation. So definitely um, one to consider and that uh, I heard a lot of designers that uh, really was, was happy with Pegasus. And uh, now let's move on to the very next one. But just before we do, I want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX design. So if you're interested in uh, leveraging some of the lessons which I learned over the past 10 years as UI UX designers, uh, feel free to check it out. And I'm also leaving for free all the source files from the uh, software uh, and the Figma tutorials on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in that, uh, check it out. And now let's move on with the very next design system, which is Prime Design System. And as you can see, it's available for both Figma and Sketch. And again, 2000 plus components, um, works well on web and mobile with templates. Uh, and uh, it's been used by some uh, major companies. So overall, again, I, I actually haven't tried this one, but I heard really good things about it. And by the way, I'm not uh, sponsored or, or endorsed by any of these uh, um, companies or uh, professionals that created these design systems. It's just uh, um, both uh, design systems, which uh, I, I either tried or I heard really well from some of my designer friends. So, you know, feel free to check them out, but uh, I'm not uh, really, I'm not going to link uh, any affiliate link or any stuff like that. So. Yeah, just uh, keep that in mind. Um, you're going to have to make your own uh, uh, shot at this. But uh, anyways, um, Prime Design System, I think it's really uh, good uh, looking uh, overall. And uh, it seems to check all of the major uh, elements uh, of the design system, such as, you know, color, type, type styles, uh, and all those things. So definitely another one to check it out. And now let's move on to a design system which uh, I recently started using with uh, my full-time uh, 
uh, gig, which I have uh, with a company in the US, and that is uh, Tailwind UI. And uh, it's the first time that I tried Tailwind UI, and uh, I've been using it for almost like one month or a month and a half. The really cool thing about this uh, design system is that you're going to have the Figma file, but you're also going to be able to send to, to the developer and have uh, for the developers the HTML, React, and view code. So they can essentially uh, kickstart projects really, really fast and uh, have a level of detail in, um, um, in the code and uh, in the general design, which uh, really helps to speed up the process. And again, really cool design system, in my opinion looks uh, really good and uh, there's plenty of variations for pretty much anything that you can imagine so it's really really extensive so as you can see these are just like there's like three components here 20 components here five components here and the list go out, goes on and on and on and uh, you can really find design elements uh, for uh, any sort of projects really now last design system which i want to mention is a budding design system again i haven't tried this one but uh, i heard it's uh, really um, good and uh, it's really good looking overall so it uh, just gave me a, a very nice uh, professional um, like appearance at first so i would be definitely curious to try it out and uh, the components uh, they look really really good as we're gonna see in just a moment. So as we are in the components page, you can see that we have uh, all the different type of components right here. And um, again, guys, looks really good in my opinion. Um, clean design, clean uh, UI overall, and uh, ready to be customized for your next project. And uh, on top of that, I want to also uh, leave you with uh, one last resource, and uh, that is to search design systems. I think UI8.net has uh, a lot of cool design systems. Some of them, they're pretty basic. Other ones are premium and really advanced. So you're going to have to dig deep a little bit. And uh, usually what I noticed uh, as a trend is that uh, the more premium ones, of course, they're going to cost a bit more, but Again, if you can get uh, um, your client or employer to, to pay for them, uh, for example, that's a, a great thing. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to make uh, your own shot uh, and uh, decide if you want to go for it. And um, again, guys, like you can go with a free design system that you can just find like wherever you can just Google like free design system and uh, maybe have like a, a basic boiler template. Um, I'm actually leaving the design system that we're creating in this series uh, in YouTube that we actually created the series on YouTube. Um, I'm, I'm leaving it uh, for free. So you can use that as a boiler uh, template or you can use any other one that you can find online and then build up on it. Uh, these more premium design systems uh, or uh, more advanced so obviously there was like more work involved and uh, the level of detail and the amount of work involved uh, it's quite substantial so that's the reason why they're they're premium essentially but uh, again like you can create uh, your own one for free so it's not a, necess a necessity it's just something that uh, is an option for you so hope this video was helpful and I want to remind you that on my channel I have over 500 videos on UI UX design sharing my experience of almost a decade of working in this field, feels forever and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next video.